What's the pitch in music? In basic definition, pitch refers to the highness or lowness of a note, which is determined by the frequency of the sound wave. If you want to learn this completely and deeply, watch the video until the end. Hello and welcome to our new lesson video on our YouTube channel. We are excited to share this content with you and hope that you find it informative and helpful. Please feel free to ask any questions or leave comments as you watch the video. We are here to support you and want to make sure that you get the most out of this lesson. Thank you for joining us and we hope you enjoy the video. So let's get started. Today we will talk about pitch and pitch class. When we read notated music, we translate its symbols into sound, sung, played on an instrument, or heard in our heads. We begin our study of music theory by learning to read and write the symbols that represent pitch, one of music's basic elements. Introduction to Pitch, Letter Names Listen to an excerpt from a piano work by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart as you follow this example, the musical notation, or score. Many of the score's elements will be introduced in this video, beginning with the notes you see here. By the end of the chapter, you will be able to name each note in this example. The first piece of information you need is that musical notes are named with the first seven letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, repeated endlessly. Imagine these seven letters ascending like stairs or arranged around a circle like a clock, as in figure. Count up or down in the series by reciting the letters forward, clockwise, or backward, counterclockwise. To count up beyond G, start over with A, to count down below A, start over with G. You will read music much more fluently if you also practice reading alternate letter names, as marked in the figure, G B D F A or at C E G B. This is called counting in thirds, because each pair of notes spans three letter names, a C encompasses A, B, and C. Learning to count in letter names is a fundamental musical skill. Practice counting backward and forward from A to A, C to C, G to G, and so on, until you feel as comfortable counting backward as forward. Think of the movement as upward when you count forward, and downward when you count backward. For example, 5 above C, counting forward, is G, C, D, E, F, G, and 6 below E, counting backward, is again G, E, D, C, B, A, G. Always include the first and last letters in the series, and count the first letter name as 1, 3 above F is A, not B, count F, G, A, not G, A, B. Now let's practice a little together. Remember to count the given note as 1. 7 above G is F. 6 above F is D. 2 above D is E. 4 below B is F. Now let's try another exercise. Count in thirds above the pitch given. For example, start from G. G, B, D. In this seven name system, each letter name reappears every eighth position, eight below C is another C. Notes eight letter names apart make an octave. They sound similar, a principle known as octave equivalence. Octave related notes belong to the same pitch class and have the same letter name. The pitch class D, for example, represents every D in every octave. Listen again to the first notes of the Mozart excerpt to hear pitch class C played in two octaves simultaneously, two different pitches that belong to the same pitch class. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it informative and useful. 
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you again for your support and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.